Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again with another video. We got a big pile of jewelry. And we're still on um, box number one of the six box lot. This is, I dumped all of it in here. This is like cram full, so this is going to take a few to get through. I am also wearing my, my uh, holiday jingles on that hand. And then this hand has a lovely little slider. <clears throat> a wreath and a house and a clasp and a Santa and a wreath and a present and a tree and a Santa and a wreath and a house. It's really cool. I like it. It's very understated as opposed to that. Anyway, we're going to get started. <laughs> get over here, Miss Roxy. You can still be in the corner there. All right. Now, this one was a stumper for me. It's very pretty. Very nice. Yeah. Really pretty. Aurora and purple and Yolanta Collection Handcrafted Designer Jewelry, which makes me think they're European. Jewelry is how they spell it in Europe, in England. And this has a little sticker on the back that says 129 on it. If I'm reading that right, a buck twenty nine, a buck eighty nine. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But uh, they're really pretty. I like them. The Olanta collection. No idea. Never heard of them. All right, we got a couple of earrings right off. This little one I think we've seen before, with the leaf and the little pink one. Put them over here. Here's a very strangely green plastic avocado green looks like looks like a 70s bracelet and it feels like one too because it's not it, uh, it feels substantial and nice and not you know chintzy chintzy okay this is a nice little bracelet it's worn on the inside. It has little rhinestones on the little circles, and then it has little bumps. That's a cute one. Here is a beaded earring, and then, oh, I had the other one of these. These are real. This is a, oh, is that a Keshi? What is that? I forget. And I'm pretty sure that is sterling. Yeah, 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 yep, yep, yep. Wait, let's put everything in here until we get figure out who wants what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, look, a kitty cat. It's one of them drapey ones. What does that even mean? It's like a dead cat. It's weird looking. <laughs> I never liked these. <laughs> They're just weird. Okay, we have a little gold and silver um, basket type earring. I don't see any marks. Cute though. Whoop, that just fell in. Here is big chunky acrylic, black and white, or black and clear. It looks white because of the light. And jingle jingle, and I love this. This is beautiful. I don't know what this is. I think it's just a piece of clay. It's got some swirlies in it. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> My camera hates green. But it is also copper. Which is fine with me. I don't have a problem with that. Um, might be cool if you take all of it down to the copper with that green stone. Oh, yeah, baby. I need some semichrome or something. I don't have any. Oh, pretty. That is definitely a vintage monster, isn't it? Look, it says BSK on it. Yay. I knew it was vintage. BSK. They make cool stuff. Mm -hmm. If I can get it to... Let's close that so it's not... 
going to poke nobody, and it looks like it has all of its stones, which is another surprise. Very nice. There's a flag. One of them plasticky ones. Ooh, what do we got here? We have an earring. There's going to be a lot of earrings because this is the bottom of the box that's on top because I dumped the whole thing in there. There is a nice, uh, it's a really nice old button, but it's missing many of its stones. So that'll go in the craft lot. This is a black earring that I have the other of right over here. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to test these for Bakelite. I don't know, I can't tell. I know there's some test where you bang them together and you can tell, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I should probably... No, that's fine. That's fine over there. Here's all. It got nicked. Dang it. It's a porcelain pin that got banged up. Somebody made. Or ceramic, I should say. A fooey. A fooey. Here's a little seed pearl ring that's missing some. <coughs> Crafty lot. Oh, uh, these are cowrie shells that are drilled. I don't know. There's many, many of them here, but... I don't know if anybody's going to want them. They're like a greenish yellowy color. Meh, I don't like them. I do like this though. It's an earring. It's a big old screaming red heart. I love you. Look at that. It's so cute. It just makes me happy. Oh, look. We have one of these. One of these. If I can open the bag, that'd be great. Yeah, you can see through the bag. Look, it's got a rose in it. It's glass. Very nice. I know I keep saying very, very nice, but this came off of something. Going to be in the craft lot. Yes, indeed. Ooh, look at that one. That's pretty. It does not have a name, which is surprising to me. It feels like it should. Pier steering. Ooh, this is pretty. It's a vintage one. Let's see if it'll close correctly. Uh, come on. Um, everything is getting difficult to do. I can't wait for the first. <laughs> this is missing a pearl, which I believe I saw. I saw a pearl somewhere when I was dumping this out, I think. Here's another rolly bracelet. One of those ones you just do like this. Yep. I think I got a couple of those recently. Vazis Das. Restroom token. From where? Help keep our restrooms clean. And it says... NK lock. What? Nickelock. What the heck? Indiana... Indianapolis? Really? They, you have to pay for the bathrooms there? Like... <laughs> that's freaking weird. Oh, a broken shell one. Darn. Boovy hoovy. Ooh, this is nice. This is milk glass, it looks like. Looks like, not sure if it is, but I know these are. These guys. I already put these in the craft lot, um, so I'll be adding these to that. Loose, in, they're all loose in there. This is how I do my lots. I just, if it goes in the lot, it just gets chucked in there, and I, well, I've already told you this a bunch of times, but my craft lots aren't cleaned. 
they are pretty much just dumped in a box and then you get to play with sorting them and figuring out what you want to do with them and all that stuff. And this is a cute little, little fishy enamel with some rhinestones. Little rhinestone eye. He's in great shape. And he is not marked. Sometimes, I swear, the cutest things don't have a mark on them. It's crazy. Crazy, man. This one is a, one of these. A clippy. And it's got all of its stones. Make sure. One, two, three. Whoop. Nope, it's missing the third one. Sometimes it's so hard to see. And I'm sorry, if you ever get anything that's missing stones, I have terrible eyesight, and I don't always remember to look at everything through the loop, so if you ever got anything that was missing stuff, I'm so sorry. Here's some pretty brown glass with blue stripes. And then there's some red ones in there, too, it looks like. That's not bad. That's not bad. They're like faux wedding cake beads with that stuff around them. Oh, there's, there's an earring that I think I've seen before that needs to have a hook. A hookah hookah. There's a tree of life earring. That's really nice. Patty, or just a tree. I don't know if it's a tree of life. There's a pink moon glow. Um, yeah. Can't think it's really late at night. Can't think it's really late at night. Cufflink. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. There's a lovely 80s uh, patterned earring. <clears throat> Sorry. I feel it's giving out on me. There is a faux cloisonne. Um, yeah. Was an earring. It's not any longer because there is no. Um, um, eh, no hook. Sorry, I can't think. This is cool. It's a little worn on the edge, but I think that adds to it. It's like distressed. Sweet. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, look at that. It, it is a door knocker. I didn't think it was. <laughs> That's cute. I don't think I have two of those, though. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, look at you. They're pretty. Ooh, they're so sparkly. They are unmarked, but they're really nice. Wow, they got some blingage. And they're a pair. There's a little square. There's a lot of little elements like this in my craft lots. Um, if you've been paying attention at all. Yeah, I have a lot of things that are just uh, like that. This has got all of its stones. It show do, but it ain't marked. That's crazy. Vintage. Oh, look at this one. This one has some sparkle to it, too. Um, let's see. Are we missing any? This could be difficult. No, I don't see any missing. That can be cleaned up. It's really nice. Really nice stretchy one. I have a couple upstairs like this that have one's gold and it has little uh, rhinestones, and one's pearl and it has rhinestones. Really, got. I like those. I think I'm gonna. Ooh, there's a nice fifties bracelet. Forties. These real wide ones. What were these? Were these 40s or 50s? Big panel bracelet like that. Ugh. Or even 20s. See, that looks like the 20s to me. And it is kind of worn, but I think... I can't 
can't tell if it's worn or if it's just a weird tone. <clears throat> weird color. Ugh, look at that. Yeah, it looks like some of the finish is worn off. <laughs> but now it's gold and silver. Jangle, jangle. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen this one already before. Whoa, really? Come on now. Somebody made these. And they're wired through the middle. And you gotta pull, pull this up, up there. There you go. Different. I'm going to take off the jinglies. They are kind of annoying. Ooh, here's one of these. Black. Real heavy. Kind of wavy. You can't really see the shape of it. I have uh, a couple upstairs that are heavy and nice like this. I'm going to do my Iris that fell impression with that. Oh, here's a nice one. It's wood. It looks hand done. Stained on one side and just shellacked on the other. That's cool. I like wood jewelry. Oh, speaking of nice wood jewelry, look at this brooch. It's not signed. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. You know how they did that? They did that with little twigs. Look how tiny this one is. It's amazing. So beautiful. Me likey. Here is a dot dash chain, a large one, with this kind of class. I like that. That's neat. That takes a certain kind of a pendant, like something modern, brutalist maybe, would look good on that. Okay, let's get this soup. Get this sucker out of the way. Yep, cuckooey nuts, you guessed it. I have so many of these. Does anybody use these for anything? Because I'm about on the, on the verge of chucking them all. Or maybe I'll stick one in the ground and see if I can grow me a cuckooey tree. That's cute. Little tiny thing. I don't know. I don't know what to do with these. I, I really honestly don't. Throw them in that box for now. Here's a little sash belt. Or sash. Yeah. Sash buckle. Sash buckle. Yeah, there you go. That's what that is. Here's a squared off hoop. You see it's not rounded here, it's squared off. That's a nice one. Feels nice. Here's a little one of these. Clippy clip. Um, I believe this is wood. Inlaid. I don't know if you can see it. You see what I mean? You can see the wood grain in it. I like that. Tisn't signed. Tisn't. Really like that. <laughs> Here are some little nondescript bracelets. Plastic and metal, but I'm not sure what kind of metal. With little hearts. I don't think it's anything fancy. Let's see if it sticks to the magnet. Oh. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Hold on a moment. Yep, brass. Brass. Brassy brass. Okay. Ooh, silver hoop. And ooh, look at you. That to me looks like real.
tortoise shell because you can see through it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope I find the other one of those. I can't sell them, but I got somebody that'll wear it. It's somebody. This has been cut off of someone, apparently. To thine own self be true. William Shakespeare. This above all, to thine own self be true. Oh, that's a shame. Why is it broke? I don't like that it's broke. It's so sad. It makes me sad. Come out of the way there, Missy. Ooh. No, that's not silver either. Go over there. Go over here. Missy, Missy. Okay. Broken butterfly. Wah, wah, wah. Here's another one of these. Another one of those. Another one of these. <laughs> Some more of those. This is interesting. This is a shell, and it had these on both sides. And I don't know. It's very, very tribal looking. Hmm. It looks like a Maori thing. There is Mother Mary. Mary. Hear me hail Mary full of grace. I know somebody that wants this. I'm glad they put a uh, thing around it. It's a Torino. Usually these have um, the brooch and then they have little earrings um, put that you put in here, but they're they can be put on the yeah. Oh look! Oh look! Oh, so cute, Susan. Merry Christmas. It'll get there late, but this is going to be for you for Christmas. When you see it, you'll know. You go, oh yeah. She said that in the video, I remember. <laughs> that is the end to one of those, um... Uh, things I pulled out a couple days ago, the, uh, snowflakes, both strands, or they, it had this on either end, so what I'm gonna do, since it's really lightweight plastic, and I'm only gonna use those for, um, Christmas ornaments, I'm gonna make earrings out of these, because they're nice and light plastic, and it's 23, and I wasn't even paying attention, so... We're going to say goodbye here. I want to thank you all for being here. Roxy wants to thank you for being here. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment in that down there. And if you see something you can't live without, please make sure you put the timestamp of the item you would like in the comments below. If you would rather, you could send me an email at the email in my description with that same information plus the title of the video and the date that it was posted. And if you have not bought from me before, include your name, your address, your YouTube name, and your PayPal email so that I can find your item or invoice you for your item and get it right out to you. So also remember that I love each and every one of you. And be yourself. Because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.